welcome to Mystery Mike. Thank you all for tuning in. Today, I'm going to talk about Native American. I love the Native Americans. My grandfather that came over from Germany took a liking to the Native American. And he sent a lot of money out west to the Indian reservations. And when I used to go over there as a little boy, the Indians would send him little things from time to time. One time they sent him a really nice Indian drum that I'm going to show you here in a minute. And my grandfather gave me it, I would say probably in the late 60s. Now I don't know what tribe it's from. Maybe you could all help me and tell me what tribe it, it came from. But I've had it ever since I've been a little boy and I treasure it. And I really like it. Okay, well, anyway, hopefully. 
made this arrowhead most likely lost it when he was hunting. Well, I was hunting at the same time, and I was thinking, here are we, you know, here are hundreds and hundreds of years later, and we still have something in common. He was a hunter and a gatherer, and here I am a hunter. But uh, I was walking in the field uh, deer hunting, and it caught my eye, and there it is. And I'm not quite sure. My brother would know what kind of uh, stone or rock that's made out of, but uh, that is really neat. Hopefully you can see that pretty good. I don't know, I might be too close. Here's a real good find. Uh, like I said, these were found in Maryland. Uh, this rock here, and once again, I, I don't know what it's made of. Once again, my brother's really good at that. He could actually look at the arrowhead and tell if the Indian that was uh, chipping it right-handed or left-handed and uh, one of the really neat things about these arrowheads is that uh, here I'm the next person to actually touch it after the Native American actually touched it I think that's really neat but uh, the story behind this is uh, this this stone don't, isn't even found in Maryland I don't know the name of it my brother once again would but uh, this actually comes from Pennsylvania, and Indians would trade stones back and forth for, you know, different areas and all. But uh, this was probably a knife at one time, and then it broke and chipped, and the, then they made an arrowhead out of it. But the neat thing is, uh, years ago, we used to have some horses, and I was riding my horse, once again, related to the Native American. And here I'm riding a horse, and I couldn't believe it. I looked down, and I just happened to see it, and I stopped and got off, and there it was. And as I picked this up, I uh, actually found another one not far from it. And then me and my wife went back in the same area, and then she found one. And that was her first one. I have it here. I've got, I don't know which one was hers, but I got it written down. Uh, putting my water line in for my uh, house connecting it to the well and uh, I found this here that's another one here's another type style once again I don't know what that's made out of wood rock but I think they're really neat This one's made out of, this is made out of quartz. This is one of my real good finds. They did some logging out behind my house. And where the stream is, they didn't want to ride their equipment and mess the stream up. So they laid down heavy planks of wood. Well, once they removed the planks of wood, it disturbed the ground a little bit. And me and my son was crossing the stream. And my eyes picked it up and I was happy as can be. Now that's made of quartz. It's not even broke or chipped or nothing. Real sharp on the sides. That's a really nice, that's probably every bit of two, two and a half inches there. There's some more quartz. This one, unfortunately, is broken, but you can still see it good. I hope you can all pick that up. Here's another little dark one. It almost looks like slate, but I'm almost positive. Well, I'm not positive, but I, I don't think that's slate. I think slate would chip, but there is a lot of slate in this area.
one of the sayings that they had is uh, when the white man was shooting out the buffalo, they said that the white man must have found the hole in the ground where all the buffalo was coming out and put a rock over it. That was one of the things that they said, and it sticks in my mind. But uh, getting back to Little Bighorn, uh, it is really, really interesting and really talks a lot about Custard's last stand. And it's really interesting and it's really a nice place to see. So if you ever get a chance, go on out there. Well, I hope you like this uh, little thing with the uh, Native Americans as much as I like it. And I hope to get some feedback on it. So if you know anything about the drum, if you know what tribe that came from.